First for the home side, Utah Warriors, presented by EOS Fitness. Number five, right lock, Onehunga Havili was in the first 15 of MLR last week after an incredible 209 meters run against Seattle. Lance Williams back in the starting lineup as well at open side flanker. Chicago head coach Sam Harris kindly called him a pest in the first matchup in March against Chicago. In the backs, Namibian international Cliven Lopeser returns to the lineup for the first time in seven weeks. Mika Kruse moves from wing to outside center. Joe Mano has a league-leading 14 tries at left wing. The reserves are a 5-3 split with an injury to Tuveti Vungakoto last week against Seattle. Joey Backe is the backup hooker at 16. The Warriors coached by former All-Black Greg Cooper and assisted by Robbie Abel and Sean Davies. Now for the Chicago Hounds, presented by Illinois Bone and Joint Institute. First up, the starting forwards. The return of Hugh Roach at Hooker last week bolstered the forward pack immensely. He'll look to make the same impact tonight alongside Patty Ryan at three, a critical leader on this team. And lock John Cullen at four gets the opportunity to beat his former side. Watch out also for McLean Jones at seven. For the back line, Sydney Shoup starts at scrum half and will look to control the tempo and build phases for fly half Luke Cardi. Cardi and Campbell will work together to unleash the formidable Billy Meeks at 12. And J.P. Eloff gets the start at 15. A big congrats to him receiving his 50th. Defense. 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 Shoup over to Krishnan. Here's Billy Meeks. Part of the L.A. Giltinis the last two years. MLR champ, back of the year in MLR as well. Looks like a forward pass, perhaps, but Elof's got it. Dominguez on the left side, and Dominguez is going to run in for the try. The getting, and just playing right at the line, and you see there Elof getting that ball and able to pin the last. 14, almost 14 minutes. Chicago scored with Julian Dominguez. Lucardi blasts it into the Harriman night sky. Joel Hodgson, good take. Over to Joe Mano, who gets the corner. Mono so dangerous with the move. Mono's going to go all the way. Cardi comes up, and Mono thinks he's got it, but Cardi has something to say about that. And then Elof coming in. For if the ball comes out of the mall, look for a big crash up front, but right now able to maintain that ball, see if they get any go forward here. Utah with the mall inside the five. Pushing to the right. Utah thinks they're in. Time's up, time's up, time's up. It'll be. That looks like a try to me. It was close to coming out, but it looks like a try from Onehunga Havili. I have a decision. Yep. Uh, you may have the try. The players successfully ground the ball, and the, le- the setup is legal for the line out. Thank you. So Nick Cannon says it's a five pointer for Utah. And the Warriors. Has to field it one way or the other, and now they've got possession again. Good ball to Roach, and here's Billy Meeks, dangerous in space. Meeks finally taken down 10 meters away for Chicago. Bryce Campbell now within five. Matarazzo playing scrum half. An injured Warrior in the way. Dominguez. Dominguez bursts through and dots it down in the left corner. Two tries for Julian Dominguez. We go. It looks like they're going to peel Good. off, but really just an inside ball. Not and as we go seven, forward, seven. you'll see the nice break here. I think this is actually an earlier attack, but the lineup we All just good, saw, guys. the ball went right back inside, and that's where yeah, cool. the lineups you know, are most vulnerable. That's where teams are right there. You, you see that Roach just, just wraps around. It is so hard to defend that space. And then, of course, Billy Thank Meeks you. getting those extra meters, and we saw Campbell also this season has wanted to give his guys what they call creative license, you know, really express their individual strengths. That's going to that's gonna be what creates the team identity. As we see Hodgson taking a break here and stepping up to dot down an automatic seven for Utah. Are looking for guys to step up to change the composure and the pace of the team. You look to none other than your playmakers. Joel Hodgson's been pretty quiet this game so far, but just doing so well, dragging as if he's going to expose the outside leg like they had hoped. I dare say that's the play of the game. It has nothing to do with the score from anybody. The second one jumping across. Here and get more points on the board. He's number one in MLR in makes and attempts, and he puts Utah on top, 17-14. Look, at the end of the day, yes, they want at least four tries. There's plenty of time to score another two. 22, Billy Meeks. Advantage is over. Larome White tackled 
up high by Jamie Lane, Chicago. Yeah, it's fine. Getting physical here. Shoop looking around. And then busting through for the try is Duke Krishnan. Chicago responds immediately. I mean, where is the anchor defense from Utah McLeod just skirting know, probably, out? Hoping that uh, he probably thought that one of his Utah going back here and wanting to secure again another line out. Jamie Lane on the take. Henry Bell at the back. Crowd getting into it. Chicago digging in. Utah pushing forward at the five. Henry Bell with momentum to his right, trying to stay in the back of it. And a card is coming out. You've slid your binds. But you can see the jumper screaming at his boys, and then they start to get some speed. And you see Krishna on the right of your screen. He breaks through and not wondering if they can make the most of it now. Again, 15 on 14 for at least three and a half more minutes. Mall is spinning. Lance Williams is near the try zone and he's in. Williams takes the lead for Utah. We just get a great look here as Utah keeps driving and Williams spins around to the outside. Of How much time since Bailey Wilson? Use now. If Chicago scores here, it knocks Utah out of the playoffs. And Houston would clinch. If Utah gets the stop, they have one more week of possibility for the playoffs. Dominguez on the edge. Dominguez spinning, and he'll score! And that's going to knock Utah out! 24-24! The Houston Sabercats are going to the playoffs, and Utah is out. One missed tackle cost the Warriors, and Chicago has one win all year. This conversion is for the second win as Dominguez has a hat trick. I mean, you talk about the parity in this league as Matina seals it with the second win for this first year franchise. What an incredible moment. The celebration from the Hounds. The second win ever for Chicago and the first on the road and it knocks Utah out.